Today I want to take you guys through a corrective exercise process of fixing a misaligned jaw and hopefully give you guys a little bit of insight into our corrective process, how we treat muscle imbalances or injuries with clients. So misaligned jaw can come from a number of different things, sleeping on one side, chewing really heavily on one side, and grinding or tightening stress on one side. For me, you can kind of see here, my teeth don't line up even close at all. And for me, it's come from kind of sleeping on one side with my jaw hanging off of the pillow. And we've kind of got this misalignment going on and the muscles have got locked into those places. So we're gonna take you through the corrective process of kind of fixing that today. And then you guys can tune in for kind of updates on how that's working and you can see the corrective process in action. So just really briefly, we'll take you through kind of the anatomy of the muscles that we're working with right here. So first one is the temporalis muscle, big muscle that runs actually from this top side of your skull here down into your jaw. You can feel that. If you clench your jaw tight, you can feel that muscle contract there. The second big muscle that we have here is the masseter muscle, which is a big kind of rectangular muscle that sits on the side of your jaw. You can feel that there. And then we've got two deeper, more internal muscles, a lateral pterygoid muscle, which kind of runs obviously laterally here, and then a medial pterygoid muscle, which again kind of runs down inside the jaw. So those are the muscles that we're gonna be looking at and working with today. Always important to know the muscles that you're working on when you're working through a corrective process. So our corrective strategy really goes through three different stages. First is inhibiting kind of the overactive muscles, the muscles that are working too hard. Second and, th and third, kind of a two-phase part is to activate and strengthen the muscles that aren't working hard enough. And then the third part and really kind of the most important part and often a part that's forgotten in a lot of corrective strategies is integrating now those movements are those pieces back into normal movements. So we retrain the brain to move correctly because a lot of this is gonna be neurological. Your brain is what's telling the muscles to fire. So if we don't reteach the brain to fire correctly, we're gonna do all this work and the brain's still gonna move through the same pattern. So we need to reintegrate those back into movement patterns and lock those in. So the first step is the inhibit step of our corrective process. I am certified to use instruments in soft tissue manipulation. You can do a lot of this stuff with your hands. I do this stuff with all my clients. This helps me keep my hands intact throughout the day, but we'll be using this for a couple of different things. We'll be using it in our inhibit process to work on the temporalis muscle, which is kind of the big muscle on the side here. So we're gonna be doing a little bit deeper strokes through this temporalis muscle here. Again, we're not pressing very hard. You can do this with your hand. What we're trying to do is kind of work through the fascia there. We're also gonna be using that uh, same thing on the pulling side. My jaw is pulling this direction. So we're gonna be doing these on the pulling side. So we're gonna get through the masseter muscle there. Again, a little bit deeper stroke with this, but when we're using instruments, we're thinking kind of one out of 10. This is really just a six out of 10. So we're not going very deep here. We're not causing any sort of pain at all. We'll be doing that on the side there. And then for the smaller muscles, we're just gonna be using thumb to get in there and press through that. For all of these, we're gonna be working through just some movements as well when we kind of hold pressure there. Same thing here as we're going through we'll be working the jaw as we go through those movements. Again, you can do all this stuff, right, with the palm of your hand or even your thumb as you get into those smaller muscle groups. So we're going temporalis muscle on the pulling side. We're gonna be using the tool to get through that to inhibit that muscle. Masseter on the pulling side, using the tool to get through that. We're gonna be using the thumb through the medial pterygoid muscle. So we're gonna be pushing kind of right here through that on the pulling side. And then on the pushing side, we're gonna get through the lateral pterygoid muscle. And you can feel that there. And you can kind of really feel the sensitivity and what we might consider are called tightness on that side. So we'll be doing that on the pushing side. That takes us into kind of the activation and strengthening portion of the corrective process. So again, for the activation stuff, a really unique thing that we can do with these tools is what's called feathering and trying to get 
basically those muscles to fire up. So creating, right, we're working on that neural connection. So we're gonna be feathering on the opposite side, really just the temporalis muscle. So here we're going really light. This is gonna be like a one out of 10 on this side. Something that I really like about tools is this upregulation techniques that we can do. Again, we're gonna be doing that on the masseter on that opposite side as well, just feathering through there. And we're gonna be doing that before we do our strengthening exercises. So two activation techniques that we can do on the opposite side. And then our strengthening exercises are gonna be really simple for this. We're gonna do resisted opening. So just gonna use the thumb on that side and open up against that thumb, right? Pushing in the opposite direction of the jaw, of the way the jaw is being pulled. And then we're gonna do the same thing, resisted closing. So again, on this side to help fire these, these underactive muscles, we're gonna be pulling down on that side as we close the jaw to get this side to fire harder. So two super simple strengthening exercises. When we do corrective exercises, we're thinking higher rep ranges. So we get more volume built into that. So we're gonna be doing like two sets of 20 of each of those. And then the third exercise that we're gonna be doing, again, kind of two sets of 20 here, is just a side to side movement. We're gonna use just a little dowel, place that in between the teeth, and then just moving the jaw opposite of the direction that it's being pulled. So we're gonna pull hard in the opposite direction here. So just biting down on that dowel, pulling the jaw to the side. So important on this one that we pull as far as we can in this direction to really feel those muscles contract. And again, we're going two sets of 20 on this. Then the final piece of our corrective program is just integrating that back into normal movement patterns. So again, we're gonna be using the dowel on this one, super simple exercise. All we're gonna do is practice closing and opening the jaw in alignment. So we're just gonna stick that dowel in between the center of the top teeth there. The goal will be is to close the center of the two bottom teeth or the two center bottom teeth in alignment with that dowel. So not super easy to do at first, but as we start to correct the imbalances there, it's gonna become a lot easier to center that dowel and close that jaw correctly. So that's the corrective exercise process that we take people through just in general and how we're gonna to try to correct kind of the misalignment and imbalances that we've got going on in my own job.